Now that we know about some of our keyboard shortcuts, it would be nice to know whether or not we could actually customize some of those keyboard shortcuts. Well, we can, and just about everything in Macs is customizable. So I'm gonna look at my Customize menu. I'm gonna to go to Customize User Interface. And then if I look at Keyboard, right, here's all the keyboard shortcuts in Macs. We'll see all the shortcuts listed on this side. So as we scroll through this, we'll see how many things don't have keyboard shortcuts and how many things do. That's a pretty long list. What you can do, if there's any of these things that you wanna set a keyboard shortcut for, you can select it. And then let's see, if we want the taper modifier to have its own keyboard shortcut, we can set a hotkey for it. So let's say Control Shift T, and it'll tell us whether or not it's assigned to something. So Shift Control T is now the taper modifier. So let's hit Assign. Let's just close this, get it out of our way for a second. Let's grab any old object here. Control Shift T now adds the taper modifier, and it automatically gets put on with the last settings that had been used. As I adjust the taper here, I can have whatever happened to my object that I want. Then I can always just throw away the modifier. Other things that we can do to customize our interface, if we go to things like colors, let's say the background behind everything. So the background here, right? Let's say I want the background behind all my windows here to be bright blue. Hit OK and then hit Apply Colors. So this background is gonna be the background behind everything. It's not very pretty. So let's change this to neon orange. See how that works. It's not beautiful either. So we can always just hit reset and it will reset back to where it was. If I go into my viewports and go down to my viewport background, sometimes I'll make that lighter if I'm doing classroom presentations, because on a projector screen, having that background a bit lighter can actually be kind of helpful. Now, depending on the type of geometry I'm working on, sometimes it's better to have that even darker. So if I make my viewport background really dark, then that geometry in the grid tends to pop off of it very nicely. So if you play around in here, you can adjust the colors of just about everything. So there's not too many limits as to what you can actually customize.